in this problem, we're being asked to write out the outcomes for some compound events. So event A and B, event A or B, and then also um, write out the outcome for a complement of an event. And a complement just means the opposite. So the complement of event B is not B or everything other than B. So let me show you how this works in this problem. Uh, it says a marble is selected from a bag containing eight marbles, numbered one to eight. The number on the marble selected will be recorded as the outcome. Consider the following events. Event A, the marble selected has an odd number. Event B, the marble selected has a number from three to six. Okay, so those are the facts. Bag full of marbles. We have these two events, and then we want to write these events. I think the best first thing to do here is just write out what event A and B are. So the outcomes for event A, if it's an odd number and we've got marbles numbered one through eight, it's going to be a one or a three or a five or a seven. Those are all the odd numbers uh, between one and eight. And then event B says the marble selected has a number from three to six. So that's just going to be three, four, five, six. So there is event A and event B. Now, when we think about, just going to pin those to the page, when we think about A and B, that means the event has to be in both of these sets. So, for example, 3 is in A and B. 5 is in A and B. And that's it. 1, 7, 4, 6 are only in one set or the other, not in both. So the event A and B, we can describe as the set 3, 5. So and, you can think of it as the overlap. All right, let's look at uh, A or B. Let me get rid of these markings. So A or B means the number can be in A or it can be in B. So it's basically all of these. So an or, you just throw them together. So let's write that out. So 1, 3, uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, and I think that's everything. Yeah, looks like it. All right, now let's determine the complement of event B. So event B is, is this one right here. And uh, the complement is everything that's not in there. So 3, 4, 5, and 6 are in there, but 1 is not, 2 is not, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then 7 is not, and 8 is not. So those are all the other marbles besides what's in B. So this is the complement of B. So that is a little bit of work in writing the outcomes for compound events and complements.